Hello and welcome to Excel tip number 12. We're going to talk about how to deal with big data. So this is a big piece of data and it's weather data for Phoenix, Arizona. It's something called a typical meteorological year data. And so since it's a typical meteorological year, it pulls data from a bunch of different years. And that's why you'll see a bunch of different years in this first date column. And it does hourly data, so it's, an, um, it's every hour for a typical year. So it turns out it's 8,760 hours, or 8,761 rows since we have a header row. So this is a big amount of data. So I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks to um, deal with this data. First off, sometimes when you're scrolling through this data, you want to make sure that you can see um, the top row. So one way you can do this if you go to the View tab and go to Freeze Panes and freeze the top row. So what that does is as long as you scroll, you're going to be able to see the top row, no matter what column you're on, even if you're all the way at the very bottom. This is nice because now you know what, you, what data you're looking at. Another thing you can do is freeze the first column. So if you have, in this case, we don't really have a long data set, but if you had a long data set where you wanted to go all the way over to the right here, you could still see the first column. So that's freezing um, the rows and the columns. Um, and sometimes that, that's you know, sort of helpful. So let's, uh, let's, uh, we just unfroze everything. So now another thing that's helpful is to split. So if we just go ahead and select this um, row number four, and go to split. What this does is it gives us a little, it gives us two um, Excel windows that are looking at the same sheet. So for example, in this case, if I want to look at the very bottom of the sheet in the bottom, and I want to look at the very top, I can do that. This is helpful too, so if you want to look at two different places in the Excel sheet at the same time, you can do that. And you could also split side by side so again, this is, gives you two sort of um, viewpoints, or two, two uh, scroll bars. So you can look at two different places in the Excel sheet at the same time. So this sometimes um, comes in handy. The one I use most of the time, and we'll, we'll leave it here for now, is I usually use the split, and so I can see the very top as I scroll down here. OK, great. So that's one thing. The other thing that we can look at to sort of look to get to data, let's go back to the Home tab and go to Find and Select. So we could find some data, but I want to show you the Go To. Perhaps I want to know um, what the um, 555th hour looks like. So if I look at that and I hit OK, it takes me to cell five, A555. So sometimes when you're dealing with incredibly large data sets, this is really helpful because you don't have to scroll through the whole thing and make sure you're in the right spot. So that's really nice. So the other thing we want to look at is if I want to select a lot of these cells. Maybe I want to select only the first 500 um, of the solar power column. Um, so if we go up to 500, and actually the better way to do this is to go to A500. And then what's nice is that I can do a couple things. The first thing I could do is I could hit, um, let's say if I want to do solar power, I could hit control and just scroll all the way up. And this takes a little while. So now I have selected all of the solar panel column. But the other thing I could do is if I go back down to the um, 500 column and unselect everything, I could do that and then hold shift and select um, the very top row. So now it selects everything in between. You can see when I scroll up, it selects everything in between. So control, just to sort of review that, control... Um, will select, so let's say if, I, if I'm holding control right now, it'll select individual cells, and I can drag and select more cells. So I've just selected all those cells. And sh what shift will do is it'll select all cells in between what you select. So I'm holding shift now. And now if I go over to this, this corner, um, the, it'll select, if you if basically if you do two corners of a rectangle with shift, it'll select that whole rectangle. So if I select this this one, hold shift, select that one, it selects that whole rectangle. So that's what shift and control do, and those can help you really um, select a lot of data. So then the last thing is let's say I want to do a formula. So let's say I want instead I want the temperature in Fahrenheit. 
and we know this from before that this equals 9 fifths times the temperature in Celsius plus 32. So what I could do, and um, you know this isn't very much fun, is let me give you a little more. I could just drag this all the way down. This is going to take me a long time. So if I'm doing a lot of formulas, this is going to take forever. So it'll work. So you can sort of see now I I drag I drag it down and it, and it works. Um, but the other thing that's nice about this is that if I double click on this bottom right one, it's going to fill the formula in, and we can see it's going to fill the formula all the way to the bottom of what we did before. The other thing I, so let's start from um, scratch here. If I take the formula 9 fifths times Celsius plus 32, and if I double click here, it'll go all the way to the bottom. So I can scroll all the way to the bottom and see that it filled in right, um, right like that. One last thing of, to fill in a formula is um, let's select all that by holding shift and selecting it all. One last thing I can do to fill in a formula, just to give you guys a um, good basis for all of this, is I can copy this, this cell. I can hold shift and select the very bottom most, and I can hit control V. So that'll paste the formula. And remember, the formula is going to change depending on where I'm at in the sheet. So there you have it. Thanks for watching.